Hey, it's your local fish keeper Sabrina. How's everyone doing? I hope you are well. In today's video, I want to share my experience of caring for a Saba pufferfish. Mind you, this is far from a care guide. I would rather you think of it as comparing notes. I notice that there's very little written on them and not much is discussed about Saba puffers out there. However, there is one entry I found in a forum from years ago detailing this person's care on his Saba pufferfish. I will link it in the description box below if I can find it again. Kiwi, my Saba pufferfish, is very very camera shy, so I will be using footages from November 2020 till today. So let's begin! Identifying a Saba puffer can be very confusing and they're often confused with green spotted puffers or dichotometer nigroviridis and cretamensis puffers or dichotometer cretamensis, especially when they are young. So to make it clear, the species I'm referring to today has a more leopardy looking pattern on its body. And there's also a presence of a corona or a ring gap in between one spot. Hiwi is from Sabah, Malaysia, and is currently about 6 inches in size. Sabah puffers' colours tend to be more dull looking compared to green spotted puffers and cretamensis puffers. I would say the biggest mystery about them is at what salinity do they thrive in inside the home aquarium. There are definitely mixed opinions online and so I've decided to take matters into my own hands and started tinkering with Hiwi's tank salinity level over the course of months to find out at which salinity she's most comfortable in. Please note that the following video clips were taken with the lights switched off to better appreciate Hiwi's coloration. Saba puffers tend to darken up when the lights are switched on. Add a specific gravity of 1.017 to 1.021, Hiwi's colors are pretty dark with a black belly. There is also a noticeable decrease in activity, as well as a decrease in appetite. At a specific gravity of 1.015, Hiwi's colors have definitely improved to slightly bright with a light dull belly. Her activity level is also improved, as well as an improvement in her appetite. At specific gravity of 1.008 to 1.010, during daytime or nighttime, Hiwi is seen to be in a relaxed active state where her belly is slightly dark. Sometimes her belly will lighten up, especially when she sees food. As for nighttime or when the lights are switched off, Hiwi is seen to be bright in color with a white belly. She's active with a great appetite. I won't go in too deep into Hiwi's diet just yet, as that will be a topic in a separate video, but generally her diet consists of crunchy and meaty food to help keep her teeth nice and trimmed. She gets cockles, African night crawlers, and dubia roaches mainly, and as for treats and enrichment purposes, she gets crayfish and crabs occasionally. Hiwi personally is very passive and shy. She was housed in with Orion, my two-pass pufferfish, and with Artemis and Ness temporarily once upon a time while her tank is being set up. Now moving forward, I do not recommend this at all. 
Even though Hiwi is the biggest in size compared to the others, she was bullied by Orion, my two first pufferfish. Hiwi, however, did not bother anyone, including Artemis and Ness, and vice versa. But then again, Artemis and Ness are still very young. Topaz puffers and green spotted puffers are actually known to have some of the meanest temperaments among the Dichotometer genus. Now, having said that, I've only had an experience of caring for one Saba pufferfish, which is Hiwi, so yours could be totally different. Hiwi is very expressive in terms of coloration. When she doesn't like something, she will turn dark. When I first brought her home, she was completely charcoal black from being so stressed out. Poor girl. As for her tank mates, at the end of the day, Saba puffers are still puffers, so it is best to not house them with other fish and invertebrates. That is all for this video on Saba puffer fish. I may do an update once more information are shared on them. Do you have a Saba puffer fish? Share your experience by commenting in the comment section down below. Together, I believe we can improve our care on Saba puffer fish. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Do like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content. And please do comment down below as I love hearing your thoughts and reading your comments. Until then, see you next time!